You guys, this is crazy. I know Halloween's around the corner, but something freaky just happened. I talked to somebody who was alive 3,000 years ago. So let me get things started. Right on the right foot. School AI, if you don't know, is an all-in-one platform that puts teachers in control of how their students are interacting with AI software. If you're interested in knowing more about what school AI is from a general approach, click the link in the video description where I talk about these general features and why I like it so much. This week I wanted to focus in on one of the really amazing features that School AI can provide for you. One of the things that I have found in my own teaching is that I'm looking for new ways, always looking for new ways for my students to get information about stuff that is usually kind of boring. So let's say for example that I'm a history teacher and I'm, I'm teaching ancient Egypt and there's so many of these different pharaohs and time periods and things that were going on and how do I, how do I explain what life was like in these ancient Egyptian times 3,000 years ago. I could watch a movie, they've probably seen it. Do a PowerPoint, they're probably bored of it. I could do a worksheet, they probably don't even want to sit down and do another worksheet again because it's, you know, the last period of the day and they've been sitting doing worksheets for like six hours now. So what if instead you could give your students the opportunity to actually talk to someone who was alive back then. Well, that's pretty crazy. I don't think that's possible. You, if, you, if you're not aware that was happening like 3,000 years ago. Well, yes, I did know that. It was 3,000 years ago, but I'm here to tell you that School AI gives your students that very opportunity. They can actually talk to, all right, well, I mean, let's pump the brakes on that for a minute. They're not actually talking to a real person. It's they're talking to a, a computer who's designed to respond as if they were a person. But I mean, that's, you know, that's really what AI is. So they can actually talk to a person who lived 3,000 years ago. For instance, uh, I just had a conversation with King Ramses II. It was pretty enlightening. He seems like a pretty cool guy. He was the pharaoh for 66 years. Don't know if you knew that. I didn't know that, but now I do. Spaces offers so many more features than just talking to historical figures. If you want to give your students an opportunity to maybe explore a new unit, maybe this unit is about a, a new complicated math equation and you want them to understand why this math equation is actually useful for the real world because a lot of them ask, why do I even need to learn this? When am I gonna use this ever in my life? You could make a space for that and you could actually help them know the reasons why they would ever want to know this. Applicable reasons for the stuff that you teach. That would be the topic explore space. Let's say that you're a little more adventurous. Perhaps you're a language arts teacher and you are reading a, reading a novel that you want your kids to really feel attached to and to really experience, to supplement what they're reading. There's an AI space called create your own adventure. And essentially what you do is you tell the AI what you want these kids to be experiencing, what kind of adventure they're on, dump them in. You could put them in the book, Lord of the Flies. That would be kind of wild to experience what that's actually like, but you could do it if you wanted to. You know, maybe, maybe something less, less Lord of the Flies. I, I, I don't, that's just me. Regardless of what you're teaching, there's most likely a space that will correspond perfectly to what you're doing in class. Maybe talking with a historical figure or going on an adventure doesn't really fit in what you imagine your class to be. Well, there are still spaces for you. You could use the bell ringer or the exit ticket space to kick off class or to reflect on what you've learned that day. A lot of students really enjoy having the opportunity for a little bit of novelty in their life and goes at their own pace. Another thing that you can offer your students is a tutor. And you can open this space for students if they're working on a research paper, developing a lab, um, maybe just studying something or getting ready for a test. You can open up the sidekick space to help them prepare 
and give that sidekick some specific guidance of what you want them to have help with. If you don't want them to have all of the answers or if you don't want the AI to write out an entire essay, you can specify those things and the student will only be able to interact with the AI in the way that you've set up. So spaces are really one of the most amazing features in School AI. If you're interested, if this piqued your curiosity and you want to know how you could use this in your class, come to the Digital Learning Lab Professional Development on October 13th. That'll be in my classroom. <sighs> I think we did it. I think that's it. Uh, really excited. If you have questions, comments, type them down below. Make sure to like this video, share it with the, all your teacher friends because I think this is going to be something that's going to change the world. Hey, I think that's it. We're out of here. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through.